here's the truth about radio. For every one time you're driving around in your car and you hear a song played on the radio, I, in the studio playing it, hear it about 10 times. So in a way, that makes me kind of an expert. You're getting gassed up with the latest new rock reviews here on this channel. I'm Diesel and I am a rock radio DJ. Every night on my show, I debut a brand new song. The listeners vote on it and whatever song ends up number one for the week, I review right here on this channel. And today I'm reviewing Dirty Honey, Rolling Sevens. This song went number one the week of October 28th with 94% smash votes. That's out of 100, that's a pretty big number. It beat out songs from Hollywood Undead, Tom Kiefer, formerly of Cinderella and Wolfmother. Now, before I get into the review, I gotta ask you for some help. Help bump me up in that YouTube algorithm. Hit that subscribe button. It should be like right over here. Click the little bell notification. They're right next to each other, so just bing, bing. And uh, make sure you drop a comment and hit the like button on the video. All those things mixed together help more people see this video going forward. Now that that's out of the way, let's review Dirty Honey, Rolling Sevens. <laughs> Already, what I like about this song is it just feels easy and simple. It feels like sliding into an old pair of jeans. It just feels comfortable and they're not pushing hard. They're not trying to do this modern rock radio thing of just banging you right in the face immediately. They're just they're just letting you ease kind of right into it. Cause I know your voice funk to it yeah dirty honey this is not the first time i've heard this song this is not the first song from dirty honey that i've heard it's the first one that i've, I've reviewed on this channel but not the first one that i've heard uh they had another single that was huge on radio if somebody asked me to describe their sound i'd say kind of like uh, maybe like 70s aerosmith mixed with a little bit of black keys that kind of just down home slightly southern rock feel i mean i know these guys are from la um, but and they don't sound like they're from LA. These guys sound like they're coming straight out of Mississippi. They are certainly a throwback to 70s rock and roll. Uh, not in this dissimilar vein of a band like Greta Van Fleet. But that band, uh, you know, they feel like they're trying a little too hard. These guys, like I said, it just feels effortless. No need to socialize, no need for fantasy. I'll shine on like a star at first light and show you all you need. That's somebody who's just comfortable in their own skin. I don't need to go out. I don't need to party. I don't need to be, you know, in the glitz and the glamour. I'm just comfortable in my own skin. Cause I know all your vices. Yeah, I know where you've been. So baby, take another toss of the dice. I'm rolling sevens again. It's confidence at work, maybe. Rolling sevens, that's that's obviously a dice reference. Rolling sevens is a good thing. You know, you roll sevens, um, that's how you win. I, I I'm, Trust me, I'm not gonna pretend like I know anything about gambling, cause I don't. But uh, I do know that it's a good thing. It's about somebody who just, things just go right for them. You know, it's easy, it's effortless. You ever met those kind of people? It just drives you insane. Like everything they do is perfect and effortless. There's the people who, who do things that are perfect, but they try so hard. This is effortless, you know, effortless skill. That's maybe in, in a way you could call that grace or style. This song is all about style. When you need a little lovin', baby, all night long. When you need a little lovin', come and turn me on. When you need a little lovin' all night long. When you need a little lovin', oh yeah. 
This song is not about intricate lyrics. It's not about telling some big overarching story. No, it's just about being confident in your own skin, in your own abilities, in your own style. And I think rock and roll needs to get back to that. You know, rock and roll for the longest time, especially from the 90s, really got to be like everything has to say something. Everything has to mean something. No, it doesn't. You know, rock and roll is supposed to be about fun. It's supposed to be about youthful exuberance and rebellion. And God dang it, rock and roll has gotten away from that. But trying so hard. Lit by the light of the moon. This love is more than it seems. Jack and you'll be the queen Cause now you know all my vices Yeah And you know where I've been So baby take another toss of the dice We roll it seven to Okay, they're about to get into a killer guitar solo. I'm not gonna mess that up. I'm gonna back that up. We're gonna get back to that guitar solo. I promise. But man, this song, like, it just, it eases you in. It kind of lulls you in like, you know, it's like a little blanket wrapped around you. You start to feel good about yourself and then bam, they turn on a dime and they go back to this funky riff that I'm a big fan of, that I like a lot. Lit by the light of the moon, this love is more than it seems. We'll stay warm by the heat of our own fire I'll be the jack and you'll be the queen. Is this song about like confidence in a relationship that you're in? Like, um, I know these guys are young, but is it, it almost to me sounds like the confidence of an old marriage, you know, that you've been together for a while and you know that things are just good and you don't have to try so hard. And it just, it's, that's what makes it so good is that you're not trying so hard. And it, that kind of, kind of goes back to the way that I'm picking up this song the, musically. We'll stay warm by the heat of our own fire. I'll be the jack and you'll be the queen. Wouldn't you want to be the king? Why would you want to be the jack and not the the queen? Is the jack somebody who uh, who admires, who entertains, who looks up to the queen? Maybe who's just like you know in love? I, maybe I'm maybe I'm misreading that line. Uh, help me out. What do you think that line means? I'll be the jack and you'll be the queen. Cause now you know all my vices. Yeah, you know where I've been. So baby, take another toss of the dice. We're rolling sevens again. I just keep thinking, you know, it's like a relationship that, that it fits like a glove. It's like a baseball glove. You put it on, you're like, man, this just feels good. Like, I know everything about you. You know everything about me. There's no surprises. We're not uh, stepping out, either one of us. It just, it's just good. It's just right. Now, let's get back to that guitar solo, because I know my man is about to, is about to throw something mean out there. <laughs> Did anybody else hear that sort of Molly Hatchet? That bom, ba, ba, bom, ba, ba, bom, ba, ba, bom. That is a Molly Hatchet step down. If you don't know Molly Hatchet, by God, freaking look up Molly Hatchet. One of the coolest Southern rock bands that ever was. Definitely some of the best album artwork that there ever was in classic rock. Didn't match the band at all. They had like Vikings on horses, and it was wild, but it, which didn't have anything to do with the South. I mean, they'd be probably better set with a pickup truck uh, rusting into the ground on their artwork, but they didn't have that. That is a Molly Hatchet breakdown. Let's back that up. I want to hear that one more time. Man, that's killer. That's killer. Shout out to you guys for writing that song like that. We're just back into that slow down. Oh, we're not.
that dude had me fooled. I thought that, you know, they were bringing it back down. They were going to get back into that beginning part of the song. But no, 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 no. They just bring you down and then, whoom, right back up into a second half of that guitar solo. Nasty. Fooled me. And I've heard this song before. That was nasty. That was nasty. And they're just kind of messing around, playing around, having fun with it. See, again, that's what rock and roll is missing. That's what made 70s Southern rock so good is that all of these bands, they weren't trying so hard to be this. They weren't trying hard to be that. They just were. And that's what made them great. It's not that they were trying so hard to be poets. They were trying not to be poets. And that's what made them poetic. And if you can you can follow my line of logic there. Uh, I'm a big fan of that tune. 94% of the voters the night that I debuted it said that song was a smash hit. I could not agree any more with them. Hopefully we add this song to the station. It's just such a throwback to the classic sound. And a lot of people are really kind of craving that because life seems a little too put together. It seems a little too choreographed. It seems a little bit too on purpose. And this doesn't feel on purpose. You know, it feels like they were just kind of messing around in the studio and this is what came out of it. So big fan of these dudes. They are called Dirty Honey. They're out of Los Angeles. Look them up. I'm telling you, I don't think you'll be disappointed with them at all. Check out some of my other reviews. I've got some amazing tunes up there like Scott Stapp, Fit for a King, Tool, Ed Sheeran. A lot of songs that you might want to listen to. Uh, if you haven't heard yet, you can check out my thoughts on those as well. Right here on this channel, I'll be back next week with another number one new rock song as voted on by the station listeners right here on Radio DJ Reacts on Diesel on Radio. <laughs>